We, the mundane Afrofuturists, being alternately pissed off and bored, need a means of asserting a different set of values to begin imagining the future. In looking for a new framework for black cultural production, we are temporarily united in the following actions. The mundane Afrofuturists recognize that we did not originate in the cosmos. The connection between middle passage and space travel is tenuous at best. Crises. You can not only introduce new things, but you can pick up the elements of the new vision which were marginalized in the previous one. What is soul? I don't know. Soul is ashy ankles and rusty kneecaps. What is soul? I don't know. Soul is the ring around your bathtub. What is soul? Soul is you, baby. Soul is you. No inexplicable interracism. Dismantling white supremacy would be complex, violent, and have global impact. No aliens, unless the connection is distant, difficult, tenuous, and expensive. And they have no interstellar travel either. Not to let mundane Afrofuturism get in the way of style, as if it could. Martine Sims and whoever will join me in the future of black imagination. For years I was frustrated and defeated by what seemed to be insurmountable barriers between the world today and the world I wanted. I searched long and hard for the truth about what is right and wrong and good for humanity, but eventually I found something I could agree with wholeheartedly. Something that made sense was simple, elegant and consistent in all cases. I understood the mechanics of liberty and the effects of tyranny, but such vision was a curse. Everywhere I looked I saw the state and the horrible withering effect it had on the human spirit. It was horribly depressing. No drug war without billions of dollars being siphoned off the very people you are oppressing. It wasn't long, maybe a year or two after this realization that the pieces started coming together for the Silk Road. We are like a little seed in a big jungle that has just broken the surface of the forest floor. That's a big scary jungle with lots of dangerous creatures, each honed by evolution to survive in the hostile environment known as human society. All matter of cooperation, government agency, small family business, anything that can gain a foothold and survive. Someday, we could be a shining beacon of hope for the oppressed people of the world. Just as so many oppressed and violated souls have found refuge here already. Now it is profitable to throw off one's chains with amazing crypto technology, reducing the risk of doing so dramatically. How many niches have yet to be filled in the world of anonymous online markets? The opportunity to prosper and take part in a revolution of epic proportions is at our fingertips. <laughs>